it's homemade caramel cake. Homemade caramel icing. TNT community, I'm getting ready to bake again. Getting ready to bake. Today, I'm getting ready to make, I've never made this before, a homemade caramel, however you want to say it, caramel, caramel. Some people say caramel, some people say caramel. Uh, caramel cake is what I'm about to make with caramel, uh, oh my goodness, caramel icing. Okay, but anywho, this is my flour. I've got, um, what do I have here? Two cups of flour, a one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder. I've got one and a half cups of Dixie Crystal sugar. These are my four eggs. I'm going to use two eggs and then two egg yolks. Two sticks of my world famous Land Lakes butter. A cup of buttermilk and I've got butter extract and I'm gonna put one teaspoon of butter extract and then two teaspoons of proof vanilla extract these are my cake pans here got two of those and my um hey guys I'm trying to get set up here I'm super excited about <laughs> another video this video so today I am going to make for you guys a caramel cake. Never made it. Hey, it's going to be what it's going to be. Okay. I'm going to make the homemade caramel icing and everything. First thing we're going to do, I'm just going to make a plain yellow cake uh, batter. And we're going to use the yellow cake and put the caramel icing on top of it. Okay. So. With that being said, I also, um, this recipe, it called for two, it called for four eggs, two eggs, and then two egg yolks. And so that's one of the, let me see if y'all can, let me get y'all down in here so you can see, uh-oh, let me do it like this. I wanted to just show you all something I did, but that's, that's one, can you see that? I don't want it to fall out on me, but that's one of the egg yolks, and I used a bottle to get the other one. I used the bottle to get them both. But I just want to show you all, that's a way to get your yolks. I saw that hack, so I tried it. <laughs> but anywho, because you, you can't just grab them with your hand, but I just want to show you all that. But anywho, um, let's get ready. Let's get into this video. So I've got, let me bring you all down into the bowl with me so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see. Let's do it like this. I think this I'm having trouble today, look like. Let me put my stuff over here. Okay, I think y'all can see me now. But I'm fixing to put my one and a half cups of sugar in here. One and a half cups of sugar. Y'all know that's my, uh, my Cool Whip bowl that I always use. That's my one and a half um, cups of sugar. And then I got two sticks of butter here. We're gonna put the butter in. Like that. Everything is at room temperature. See how soft that butter is? Y'all know I y'all know how I do it by now. Certainly you do. Alright, so this is our stick number two of our butter. Okay. And again, I'm gonna use my KitchenAid hand mixer, okay? For these little cakes, okay? So we're gonna mix this up. Y'all see, mixing it up. This gonna be of just a little plain um, yellow cake mix back. And because it's homemade, you know, I could have just went and got a Duncan Hine or something. Yellow cake, no honey, we do homemade over here. Everything from scratch, okay? that. Okay. Let's get all 
batteries combined and get real good. All right, now these are my two um my two eggs. I'm gonna put them one, put them, put it in one at a time. So one. Number two, don't win in. And that's going to give our yellow cake mix color. It's going to give the little color. That's what those yolks do, okay? All right. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to put in a teaspoon of butter extract, okay? things be on here so tight sometimes. Alright, I'm going to just put a teaspoon in. That's a teaspoon of the yellow. I mean, of the yellow. <laughs> of the butter extract. That's one teaspoon of that. I'm just going to put them both on in. That's one teaspoon of the butter. And then I'm going to do two teaspoons of the pure vanilla. All right. Now, don't you know, y'all, you can measure yours, but I just kind of eyeball it because I did it so much. But one teaspoon of the butter and two teaspoons of the um, vanilla, okay? All right, we're going to put all that up in there like that. Combine that. Ooh, wee. Mm. That butter smells just like, oh, it smells so good. My goodness. All right, so now I'm just going to scrape down these sides right quick. And y'all know the next step. We're going to do our flour, baking powder, and baking soda that's been sifted. Okay, I'm going to put a little of that in. Alternate my flour and my what? I don't hear y'all. And my what? Yes, buttermilk. Very good. Very, I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all know how to do this. All right. Let me just, I like to kind of stir my buttermilk a little. Okay. Okay. When I sit it out of the refrigerator and let it get at room temperature. Ooh, look at that buttermilk. No, no, no. All right, so we're going to put real of that in, like that. Okay. Okay, give it more flour.
pop that right there like that. And I want to put this over here out of my way first. I want to just scrape around these sides. Because this is going to be it. We want to make sure that we get all of our flour in here, okay? Get ready to put our batter in our cake pans. Here are our two cake pans. I've already sprayed them and they are ready to go into our pan. And y'all know how to start doing this so that I can kind of <laughs> have my, my layers even. So we're going to use our cup. This is one one cup right here, so let's see. That's one cup. That's another cup. You know, I, I keep saying, do I want to do one or two? I'm going to just do, I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to just, I keep, every time, guys, I keep saying I'm going to do a three layer, but I'm going to just do two today. Um, I'm just going to do it like this. Cup number two. And usually it's three cups, isn't it, y'all? Three. And get this last little bit off of here because we're going to give it all so we can do the three cups. Okay. So let me go around the sides. Make sure that I get it all in this cup for us. Okay. I think this is going to be for our third cup. Now, Now just eyeballing it, look like this one right here, could use a little bit more in it, and I have a little bit more in here. Wow. Like 
out of this cup like that. And I think it's a tad more in my bowl here. It is. Y'all know how I am. I get it all. All right, so that's that. All right, guys. So we're gonna put these. Let me show you. Bring y'all to me now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put these in the oven um, on 325 for about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to get these cakes out of here. That's our first cake right there. Can y'all see it? That's the first one. They bake for 35 minutes. 30, 35 minutes, okay? That's the cake coming out of the oven. <clears throat> Let me turn my timer off. Okay, guys, now we're getting ready to start on our caramel icing, okay? I'm going to use two cups of Dixie Crystal Sugar. I'm going to put a, um, this is a stick of Land Lakes Butter, and I'm going to use probably about a cup of this evaporated milk, and I'm going to put a probably maybe a tablespoon or maybe yeah, a tablespoon of vanilla extract and our icing, okay? All right, so let's get ready to do this. Okay, guys, we are about to attempt to make some caramel icing. I'm gonna take y'all along with me today as we do this together, how about that? So the first thing I'm gonna do is melt this stick of butter. Now, my mom always said these words here about caramel icing. If you're in a hurry, you can't make no caramel icing. <laughs> you got to stir it. You got to keep stirring it. And a lot of people, have they have found many different um, ways to do this caramel icing. But this is the old-fashioned way here. This is the old-fashioned way that we're going to try today. And so the key is trying not to burn your icing. I, I remember my mama used to always say, you don't want to burn the icing. And the other thing she said is, you don't want to fix no caramel cake with no grainy sugar on your caramel icing. So you have to keep stirring it. You have to keep stirring it. So right now, we're just going to melt this butter, okay? Okay, guys. So now, as y'all can see, all of the mud, all of the mutter. <laughs> that's a com when I say mutter, that's a combination of uh butter and melt. I was trying to say all the butter has melted, all of the mutter. But all of our butter has melted here, okay? Now, the key here is you don't want to burn your butter and you don't want to burn this icing. So be be very careful of what you're keeping your temperature on with your um icing here, okay? So the next step I'm gonna do, I've got two cups of of Dixie Crystal granulated sugar here, and I'm gonna pour some of it in, like that. And then we're gonna start combining it. I'm gonna just sit that there for now, and we're just gonna start mixing this together. Just gonna start mixing it together like this. Y'all see that? All right, like that. Then we're gonna put a little bit more in here. I do it in stages steps okay you can feel it is getting thicker the icing is becoming thicker okay like that y'all see it watch here okay get this off and now we're just gonna combine all of this like this okay See what I'm doing? Oops. Lisa. 
Oh, oh y'all, I dropped some of these. Hold on. I'm gonna have to get that up. All right, so we just combining this still. See how thick it's becoming? Okay. I'm gonna turn my eye up just a little because we want this to start cooking for us. Okay. We want it to start cooking. So all I'm going to do here, guys, is just stir this, and I'll bring you back and let you see when it starts turning the color that I want it to turn, okay? Okay. So I want to show you all. We are about there. I'm getting ready to turn it off. Can y'all see it? If you lift it up like that, you don't see any crystals, any sugar crystals. It's just clear. So I've stirred it and stirred it. And now what I'm gonna do is turn it off and I'm gonna let it cool for a little while. And then once it cools, I'm gonna show you all what it looks like after it's cool before I start icing the cakes, okay? The reason why I know it's ready because those bubbles are thick. Can y'all see those thick bubbles in there? That lets you know that your icing is ready. Those thick bubbles as well as when you lift it up like this and you see all of those crisp, those clear crystal sugar things are gone. That's what you want. That's what you want right there. Look at that good caramel icing right there. So we've turned it off. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to let it sit here a minute and then I'm going to come back and show y'all what it looks like after it's cooled a little. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. This is cool and awesome, and I want to show you all. Let me show you here. See the color of it? Can y'all see that color, that pretty caramel color? And then if you push it up on the sides of it like that, you can see it sticking to it. Can y'all see that? It's sticking. It's, it's, it's getting cool now. This is what we want, because this is some hot sauce here. See how it's getting thick right there? See that? It's getting thick. It's, as it cools, it thickens. And that's what we want. We want it to cool some sort. Look at that. Mm, excuse me. So it can thicken for us. All right. And then we're going to put it on our cake. Oh, wow. That's going to be good. Okay. So let me just stir it. Mm, it is so pretty. That is some pretty, pretty, pretty icing. Can y'all really get into this? Get into this icing. Look at it. Look at that pretty color. Homemade caramel icing. Okay. All right. So hold your horses and we're going to come back and frost them. All right, guys. We're about to get into this. Caramel cake here. Ooh, if y'all can see, the icing is cooling so now. Ooh, we well, yeah, it's time to go on and ice this now because it's going to turn into sugar again if we don't go ahead on and ice it. Okay, so one thing I know about a caramel cake, it's not going to be a pretty cake until it, I think, until it, uh, until it completely cools. So we just going to pour some. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to pour this on here like this. Can y'all see? And I have some. Let me just pour this like this for now. Like this. And I'm going to get my spatula. Mm-hmm. gonna get out. I don't know about my cake today, y'all, but it just don't want to, it just didn't want to do right for me to look like. But anywho, we're gonna go ahead on and 
Look at that. Look at that how that. Ooh, that just my cake did not do right today, guys. It did not do right. Hold your horses. Hold your horses, guys. Okay, guys, my little end, my corner's right there. They want to do right. I just did the best I could with trying to get it put on him for us. But that's all right, Teresa. We're going to do this anywho, girlfriend. We're going to do this. All right, so let me get back to put this, <clears throat> this icing on this cake in addition to my voice. As them I get don't want to do right. Okay, so we're going to pour some more of this icing on here. That. See how my little end piece falling off there, but that'll be all right. All right. Now, I'm going to pour a little more on here, and we're going to let it. All of them now. Look at my little papers trying to just get them back over in here. Just go let it fall around the sides of our cake like this. Coming off of that. You are coming off. Okay. Got some more here. I'll run it around the sides like this. Okay. We got some more in here. We're going to run this off the side. Oops, that one is running a little bit too much, Teresa. I told you all, this cake here, it may not be a pretty one, but baby, it's going to be a good one. Now, see, this is where I messed up. This is where my little piece came off, guys. So, what I'm going to do is really try to, let's see if we can coat it like this. Mm -hmm. Let that icing just fall on it like that. And then I'll work with it because it's starting to See, that's why you have to, when you're working with this caramel icing, you have to go ahead on and work with it before it starts. Show no definite stiffening up on you. Okay. You don't want it to stiffen up on you too much, too, too, too much. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. Let's try to just put us a little bit more icing on there. Work with it like that as much as we can to make it stay on there, guys. Okay. This here is just not going to do right for me. Okay. 
But you have some that, you know, I, I'm not, I told you all, I'm working on this. Okay. Oh, I hate this, guys. When I tell you I hate this, I hate this. I wanted to give y'all a pretty cake. But you know what? We're not going to... We're not going to stress about it. Okay, the, 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 uh, the cake taster is tasting the cake. <clears throat> hey, fam. How y'all doing? Uh, my wife is being hard on herself. The, the cake didn't come out the way she wanted, but she's a perfectionist. But the cake is good. It's very moist. Um, and the icing, you know, the first time I had um, no, it's not. I was going to say first time I had homemade caramel icing, but it's not. But it's good. This icing is good. Thank you, baby. So, take me a And, you know, I, I really had me a piece already. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, boy. But anywho, y'all, I just wanted to show you this cake. It just didn't turn out like I wanted it to turn out. But, uh, anywho. Into who? Into who is see that uh, my little corner there? I had to just, but it's a beautiful cake after all, though. And he says it's good and moist, so that's what matters. So that's the homemade caramel cake. You gonna get him another? You gonna make another one? Am I gonna make another caramel cake? Mm, maybe not right now, but you know. In the yeah, future. I am, cause you know I gotta perfect this. This is what I'm doing with these cakes anyway, learning how to perfect them. So, anywho, thank you guys for watching with me. Um, if you didn't learn anything else, hopefully you learn how to fix some homemade um, caramel icing. Okay. All right. So thanks for sub thanks for subscribing. You have anything to say to? all of our new subscribers and tell everybody that we made it to 1,000 subscribers. But this is exciting, this video, because this is our first video since we've been monetized. But we thank y'all for being a part of our family. I thank my wife always for taking time out making these delicious desserts. Um, but this one is about to leave here. Joshua's going to come and get it. And take it to his job. But in any way, we thank y'all for being a part of our family. We thank y'all for subscribing, um, liking our videos. Give us a thumbs up. Turn on that notification button. Hey, and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead on and take care of that right now. Um, leave us a comment in the bottom. You know, we love to read your comment. We're a little slow. We got a lot going on. A little slow about answering, but we're answering. My wife is going to answer, and she's answering them. But hey, until the next time. Let the journey continue. Bye, guys. Bye.